It has been almost two years since Harry and Meghan left the country and relocated to the US, and a royal expert believes that the couple will not return to live again in the UK. A royal expert has claimed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are very driven by money ahead of moving to America to restart their lives. Eighteen months ago, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved across the pond to live in their Californian Montecito mansion with their two children, Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. The pair have since bagged millions in lucrative brand deals, including an £18 million deal with Spotify and a £100 million deal with Netflix. Former royal correspondent Richard Miniards has issued that the duo have got their eye on the money ever since they stepped down from their roles as senior working members of the royal family. Richard, who works on behalf of Harry and Meghan's local paper The Montecito Journal, raised claims to the Evening Standard that the royal pair are hoping to rake in the big bucks. He told the publication, they've obviously got their eye on the money like their good friend James Corden, who now earns something like $12 million per season of The Late Late Show. I think they'd like to get on that sort of level where hopefully they can earn lots of money and get their views across but also do good things with the Archule Foundation as well. The royal expert highlighted that since moving across the pond, the pair have kept a low profile and believes the couple will not return to the UK for the long haul. He said, I don't think they'll move back to the UK at all. The British people see, Meghan, as the Wallace Simpson stealing the Golden Prince. They are much more welcome on this side of the Atlantic. The Daily Star has approached Harry and Meghan's representatives for comment. Last year James Corden reportedly signed a £15 million two-year deal with US TV chiefs to keep presenting as The Late Late Show. Harry appeared on the show in February 2021, where he said, I had to get my family out of there. The segment began with the Duke of Sussex being taken aback by Corden picking him up in a subtle bus rather than a Range Rover but the host shot back that he thought it would be a nice way to see LA Harry admitted that it was the first time he had been on an open top bus as he was not really allowed to get on them and that he regretted never being able to go sightseeing. He also added that due to the lockdown, this was his first chance to see LA Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced they were quitting royal duties and moving to the US early last year. The couple, who are expecting their second child, moved to Santa Barbara, California. But Corden made sure the prince wasn't missing home by serving up tea and crumpets as they took in the sights, including David Schwimmer's and Bruce Willis homes, as well as bringing class to the 405. Although a tea trolley on a moving bus turned out to be not such a great idea. As the pair make a stop at the house used for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Corden tests the prince's knowledge of the iconic rap theme tune before they drop in on the rather shocked owner of the house for an impromptu royal visit and a visit to the bathroom. Corden tries to convince the prince to move into the Fresh Prince mansion and even engages the Duchess of Sussex over FaceTime to convince Oz to talk to the owners. The Late Lit Show host then spends some moments asking the prince personal questions, in particular when he knew that Meghan Markle was the one. The second date, I was starting to think this was pretty special, said the prince. It was just the fact that we hit it off with each other. And we were just so comfortable in each other's company. He added, dating, with me or with any member of the royal family I guess, is kind of flipped upside down. All the dates become dinners or watching the TV or chatting at home. And then eventually, once you become a couple, then you venture out to dinners, to the cinema and everything else. Everything was done back to front with us. So actually, we got to spend an enormous amount of time just the two of us rather than going to friends' houses or out for dinner where there were other distractions. There were no distractions and that was great, it was an amazing thing. We went from 0 to 60 in the first two months. Corden also asked Harry how he felt about Netflix's hit royal docudrama The Crown. The prince, who has a production deal with Netflix, said The Crown doesn't pretend to be news, it's fictional. But it's loosely based on the truth. Of course, it's not strictly accurate, the prince added. It gives you a rough idea about what that lifestyle, is like, what the pressures of putting duty and service above family and everything else are, and what can come from that.